Good morning, everybody. This is John Canoza from the Clinton County Health Department giving you an update for today uh, from here at uh, Emergency Services. Uh, our numbers for today, if you'd like to get that first, uh, we have 56 lab confirmed COVID positive uh, cases in Clinton County. Um, we had a few more add up over the weekend, uh, but fortunately, 56 is what remained as of last night. So that's a good thing right now. We'll be happy about that. Uh, this past weekend, 418 to 419, 2020, two Clinton County residents uh, who work in Vermont and were tested in Vermont were tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, Thus, our numbers for Clinton County will look a little bit different, more elevated than what you will see at the New York State uh, website. As of today, 38 of our 56 uh, uh, patients uh, are recovered. Those are the patients that were previously positive for COVID. <clears throat> Total tested to date, 517 in Clinton County. That data is as of 419 in the morning, 2020. Uh, we have 43 suspect cases uh, that we are currently tracking at, as of this time, 36 of those 43 cases are recovered in Clinton County. Now, some more updates for all of you. Uh, several weeks ago, uh, New York State had ordered that all campgrounds operated by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation and Office of Parks and Rec would remain closed until further notice. Golf courses at that time were declared non-essential and were required to be closed until further notice. Uh, accordingly, uh, Clinton County, we closed our local campgrounds that we have in Clinton County uh, till at least May 1st. Now we have some nicer weather coming up and with the numbers looking better and better, hopefully every day, let's keep that up into the future. Hopefully by May 1st, we can be open for campgrounds. So uh, at this time, all children's camps, campgrounds, cabin colonies, seasonal temporary residences, uh, that operate in Clinton County with a permit from the health department uh, shall be closed effective uh, April 8th until May 1st. So let's keep hoping our, our numbers keep coming down and the weather's going to improve. Things will get better all the way around, we hope. Also on Friday, uh, just this past Friday, regarding golf courses, Governor Cuomo stated that golf courses could then now reopen with some uh, conditions, restrictions. Golf courses are still considered non-essential, so they are not allowed to have any employees working at the facilities. They can use groundskeepers, uh, security as needed to provide safety and avoid hazardous conditions. But the most important thing is uh, they can't have any workers there. So you pay online or you put a, a check in an envelope in a drop box and you can golf as long as social distancing is accommodated. Got to keep six feet between the golfers when you're out there. So, and I'm a big golfer. I'll be out there too with my boy. Uh, per New York State, parks and other open spaces are open right now, except for playgrounds and other areas of congregation where social distancing cannot be abided. As the weather gets better, uh, people will want to be outside. Physical activity is good. We promote physical activity every way, shape, and form. Walking, bicycling. Uh, however, social distancing must be accommodated. Walks with members of your family, that's fine. That's good. If walking with a, a non-household member, uh, please maintain that six-foot separation distance. Wear a mask. Governor's order requires that all uh, the public in Clinton County, when they go out into the public, shopping, grocery shopping, uh, perhaps for walks, um, that you re uh, you're required to wear a face mask. Physical activity is good. Fresh air is good. Definitely promoting that. Get outside, yard works, walks, uh, but we still want to uh, really profess to all of the public. It's so important to socially distance between yourselves and other people. Finally, uh, on uh, Friday, Governor Cuomo announced that New York State DOH will be conducting a statewide antibody testing survey. This began on Sunday, locally, uh, including here in Plattsburgh, as I understand. Uh, the purpose is to collect statistical data to help determine the percentage of the population that may now be immune. It is not to provide antibody testing for individuals specifically to have them know 
whether or not they are immune to COVID-19. This is a pretrial run that the state is trying to just get a general uh, number count, 100 people, 150 people. Um, and as, I, as I understand it, six locations in the state of New York to see what the percentage of people uh, are out there that are immune to COVID. They have antibodies for it. So as we learn more about this, we will share that with you. Hope you all have a good day. Um, stay safe, stay, stay healthy, wash your hands, social distance, social distance. I'm only going to say it twice. Okay, that's the most important thing. Wear a mask. And finally, if you're sick, stay home. In closing, everybody have a good day and stay well out there. And uh, we'll be talking with you every day, just about. Take care. Bye.